The last time we were out at the apiary, we added sugar water to these nukes, hopefully to give them a boost. Let's see if that helped or not. I'm also prepared with smoke and tools to get into hive number two, maybe to take some of the brood out of that and share it with the nukes. Let's look in this one here. See if it's any better. Looks like they pretty much finished off that sugar water. I'm just gonna see if their numbers look any better. This one is the one that had, uh, I didn't see any eggs last time. Hopefully there's an improvement. There's a lot more nectar in this one than last time. That nectar is probably that sugar water. They're taking it out of the uh, container and putting it into the comb. I hear a lot of buzzing down in the box. I don't see the queen on the frames. She may be down on the floor. With so few bees, it seems like I should be able to see that queen pretty easily. Well, I had a queen last time. I don't see a dead queen. Well, that's not looking good for this one. Close it for now, because I'm gonna come back and put some brood in there. Maybe, even if it is queenless, maybe they can raise a queen and I, I can get started with that. So let's turn around and look at this other one. Look at that bumblebee. See that? Landed right on my hand. Bye-bye. Well, that is a little bit concerning. That means I may have possibly lost two of my three splits unless I can get this one to raise another queen. Let's see what's going on over here. This one had eggs last time. I have higher hopes for it. No queen on the lid. There are more bees in this one. Again, there's more nectar, which is probably just that sugar water that they're putting in here. They have some pollen up here. A little bit of what, what might be capped honey there. They actually have a lot of larvae. So this one's doing great. And there's my queen. She's got a pretty nice brood nest there. I'm just gonna fill up, fill up their sugar water and uh, let them be. They look like they have plenty of space, plenty of brood. I think this one's doing fine. So I'm just gonna put this back in here. over to number two and inspect it and see if we can get some brood. Maybe we can split number two and put, uh, get this other nuke going. Thing 
on the other side, a lot of pollen and nectar, no brood. These bees are coming out aggressive and de uh, defensive, but their tone says they're just being defensive, they're not being killers. Okay, there's a good, good bit of drone, or uh, not drones, uh, brood on here. Same thing on this side, lots of brood. I'm trying to keep my eye out for a queen, but it's sometimes very difficult to see them when there's so many bees. That might be a good frame for me to put in that other one. I'm going to set it aside for just a minute. Hoping the queen's not on it. A lot, a lot of brood. I don't see a queen yet. The only reason I want to see a queen is so I don't put it in the other hive. Oh, this is one of those shorter ones that got added to a deep box. And we're out of the brood nest. So the brood nest was three frames wide. This empty frame put right in the middle of the brood nest. Hopefully they'll start utilizing it right away. a shake and get most of the bees off of this and put it in the other in the new hive. If a few of those bees go over it won't matter I don't think. this hive two back together. Hopefully that just saved a nuke and didn't destroy a hive. The good thing is that if hive two did just now lose their queen, like what if that queen went into the nuke? The good thing is that the queen should actually build that nuke up and Hive 2 is strong enough that they should have plenty of energy and plenty of bees and plenty of brood to make a new queen. I think Hive 2 is going to be fine. 4, 5, and 6. All we need to see are bees going in and out. I really think we could probably remove the entrance reducers soon. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good over here. I have garden work to do, so I'm going to gather my tools and get out of the apiary and uh, get a drink of water. I'll see you next time, probably up in the orchard where I'm building a bit of a um, enclosed garden in the mulch garden area. Thanks for joining me here on the beekeeping episode. I'll talk to you soon.